written two years in the making at a cost of $400 million. But tonight, Horseshoe Casino Cincinnati is finally seeing its first gamblers and diners. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee is live with the early reaction from invited guests, Tom. Well, Clyde, when I talked to casino officials yesterday, they said the bulk of the crowd was going to show up between 5 and 6 and really build after the people got off of work. Take a look behind me right now. You can see Eggleston Avenue and Central Parkway is where the crowd is, and it stretches all the way to the front of the casino. The line really is due to the fact that they have to check IDs and people have to show driver's licenses to get inside. But everybody I've seen come out of this place has given it two thumbs up. However, most invited guests, of course, are still inside sampling the slots or the wide variety of food offerings, and they can do that until 11 o'clock tonight. Now, they started arriving well before the 3 o'clock opening, eager to get inside and see what $400 million will build. Up to 15,000 people expected to show up as the Ohio Casino Control Commission checks out operations before next Monday's grand opening. First impression is it's beautiful, it's big, lots of fun. My background is interior design, so I actually came to look at all the cool things yeah. that are there. First take, very impressive. Yeah. I, uh, I'm not a big gambler, but I came down just to see what was going on, and it, uh, it's pretty impressive. Now, the casino was developed by Detroit-based Rock Gaming, which made a conscious decision on an urban location for this casino on what used to be Broadway Commons. We think that uh, it's, it's an opportunity to do good. It's the right thing for the community. It's a lot better to have it in downtown than to have it out in the uh, outskirts somewhere or on a freeway interchange where people go and stay for four hours and they'll come back. And we think that, uh, conversely, it's, a, it's the right economic model. We think that over time, people are going to be you know, really interested in it. They're going to want to come down here and enjoy everything that Cincinnati has to offer. Now, proceeds from tonight's dress rehearsal gaming are going to four local charities. And one thing the Casino Control Commission and security are going to be looking out for tonight are cheaters. When they've opened the three other casinos throughout Ohio, the cheaters have come in, and they try to weed those out very carefully. Cheating? A fifth degree felony punishable by prison time and or fines. Tom McKee, 9 News, live downtown. All right, Tom, thanks. And of course, plenty of people means you're going to need plenty of patience. 9 on your side reporter Amy Wattis is live with what you'll face when you're looking for a parking place, Amy. Well,